so as women, I think we all have those moments where we, you know, kind of overreact. And the other day I was, I was having a day, like it, the, the night before was a night and the day was a day. And um, I was driving to work with my boyfriend and I was mad at him for some reason. I'm sure he did something stupid, but I can't even really remember what it is now. So that's how not important it was. But um, we, uh, we had a tense drive into work and then we were early so I went to the gas station and um, still frustrated I stopped in and got two sandwiches okay because I'm a pig and um, and I was hungry and when we were leaving um, this guy was driving up an alleyway that was right next to the gas station so I was pulling out now I looked over my shoulder did everything I was supposed to before I pulled out didn't see anything that means this guy was hauling ass up the alley the only reason I got didn't get hit was because my boyfriend yelled, Amy, watch out. And I stopped, right? And this guy, who was clearly at fault, you know, if it was me, I would have been like, oh, I'm so sorry, you know, out the window, oh, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. This guy glares at me, gives me a stare down, and I flipped out because it's like, is it worth it? Was it worth it? He just wanted to beat the traffic. That's the only reason he wanted to get out of the alley so fast and get in front of me. So he could beat the traffic so he could make a left-hand turn and be gone, okay? Well, we all want to do that. That doesn't happen. There are other people out there on the road. There are other people, your, their lives are in your hands when you're behind the wheel. So I got frustrated, of course, and the sandwich I bought, I had started to eat. I just threw it at the dash, and I was screaming, what's that, what's that? And then I haul ass out of the parking lot, out of the gas station parking lot. I turn and I turn and I turn into the parking lot at our work. And Spencer is just like, oh, that's my boyfriend, by the way. He's just, he doesn't know what to do. You know what I mean? And he knows when I get like that, it's best to just stay quiet or else you might get killed. So I tear into the parking lot, slam on my brakes. I take the sandwich again off the dash and I start to choke it like it's that guy. Then I get out and I'm like, ah, F the sandwich! And I rip it apart and I throw it across the parking lot and there's like meat, sandwich meat sitting on my dash, right? So me being me, I can't leave all the, you know, bread and whatnot scattered across the parking lot. So I pick it up and I start tossing it and just slamming it into the, uh, what are those things called? The garbage can not a garbage can though, a dumpster. Slam it in the dumpster and I'm stomping away and then I trip over one of the um, parking, like the, the parking, the cement parking bricks, whatever the heck they're called. And I trip and I fall and Spencer said all he saw was hair just going down. Gets out of the car, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. And then I got back in the car and I sat down in the air conditioning and I felt a lot better. So my advice would be, you know, if, if it's in there, you got to get it out or else it's just going to sit there and fester. And you might, I might actually choke somebody someday next time. It might not be a sandwich, all right? So when, you, when you're upset, you need to get it out. That's all I'm saying.